Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to do an overview of the HTC Titan. The HTC Titan's been out for a little while, and I decided to get it as my personal phone. I've been using an iPhone 4 for some time, and thanks to all of your suggestions, I uh, was considering this, or the Lumia 800, and really decided to go with the Titan due to its huge size. Now next to my hands, this is going to look like a normal size phone. So I'm holding this like this, but let me show you how big it really is. Here's the Focus next to it. The Focus has a 4-inch screen. The Titan has a 4.7-inch screen, so it's pretty large. And I really like the large display. Uh, let me turn this one on and turn this one on. And you can see the Super AMOLED is going to be a little bit more vibrant on the Focus. But let's go ahead and unlock it. The tiles are just huge on the Titan. And for me, I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and talk about the specs of the Titan. Like I said, I bought this for myself, and I was considering the Lumia 800. I was going to import it, but since it's supposed to be here sometime early next year, I thought I'd hold off, and I really had to get a next-gen phone, just because, you know, a lot of you complained, actually, in a lot of the comparisons I did, because I wasn't using something with higher specs. So I decided, you know, I'll get the Titan... I'll enjoy using it myself, and who knows, we'll see how long I last using this as opposed to my iPhone 4S. I really like the large screen, like I said. So it's a 4.7-inch screen. You can see it's huge. In my hands, it looks like a normal size phone, and that's one of the reasons I decided to go with it. But the screen size, 4.7-inch, and it's not a very high resolution, and that actually stretches everything. And like you can see here in the focus... The tiles look tiny compared to that of the Titan. And the reason for that is they took an 800 by 480 display and stretched it. And I really like it. I think text looks good on it. Some people that like higher resolution displays are going to be picky about that. I, I like it for my use. It, it works great. And the LCD is really nice. Now, this screen you would think would use a ton of power, but the battery actually isn't too bad. Uh, I was able to get through... Oh, with about half a battery, right now I have a little bit. I got through a whole day on half a battery or so, and then had to charge it later on at 8 o'clock to about 10, and then it's been, it was only a half, and now we're at a quarter. But I used it for a lot of videos, and I was watching YouTube on it. Uh, it was great. I really liked it, and it seemed to work great. So the Titan itself has a 1.5 gigahertz processor, that is really nice. It only has 512 RAM, but you really don't need that for anything more than that with Windows Phone. It's just really quick and snappy. The processor seems to do a great job. It's, it's super fast, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but let's go over the outside of the phone quick for anybody that isn't familiar with it. We have a 1.2 megapixel forward-facing camera. Have your speaker here, and phone calls are crisp and clear. I used it for that already. Uh, it does have 4G or really faster 3G, uh, but it works great on AT&T. You can see we have our normal buttons on the bottom, touch buttons, capacitive touch buttons, search, windows, or home, and back. On this side, we have our micro USB port for charging, syncing. On the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, uh, noise canceling microphone, the sleep wake button, and I'm not sure if these are the speakers for the camera or not, we have an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, and our speaker is right here. This records only in 720p, but overall I thought the camera was pretty good. It's not fantastic, but it's pretty decent. You can see we have these holes here as well, so I'm not sure exactly where the microphone is on this side, or maybe some of you can help me out with that. I didn't really check. I just wanted to do a quick overview. overview. I've been using the phone for a day, so we have our camera button here, volume rocker here. Now, one thing that's kind of neat is if I push the button on the bottom where this microphone is, the whole back just pops off. This is aluminum and plastic, and uh, it's really pretty nice. And you can see here's the battery. Like I said, it's supposed to last all day. It's got some pretty impressive battery life as far as some of the reviews go. And it has 16 gigs of internal storage. There's the SIM card, actually with a SIM adapter and my micro SIM from my iPhone 4S. But... Let's put the back back on here and look at the OS. Now this is running Windows Phone 7 Mango. I've, I've demoed that quite a few times and it's just really fast on this phone. If I go to Internet Explorer, uh, go to Internet Explorer here, go to Zolotech, whoops, you can see how big these keys are too. If I go to Zolotech, 
I guess we'll search for it. I'm on my local Wi-Fi here. Uh, I guess I'm on 4G. For whatever reason, it's not on Wi-Fi. So you can see what it's like on, on 4G. I'll go to my website here. It's pretty fast. And in fact, let's see, let's see what that does as far as on this phone. We'll bring that up. Zolo Tech here. There we go. And this phone's on Wi-Fi. I don't have a SIM card in it. So you can see, if I uh, wait for this to finish, you could see this one was a little bit faster on the left. Wait for it to finish, and I'll reload both of them. In fact, let me set them down. It'll make it a little bit easier. You can see they're both pretty fast there. <laughs> this one didn't even respond. Uh, but there we go. My fingers are kind of dry. Dry heat here. It's cold and wintry outside. Let me go ahead and refresh both of them. One is on 4G, one is on Wi-Fi. And you can see the one on 4G, the, the Titan, is actually a little bit faster in showing the first part of the screen. And the website might be a little bit slow, too. Let's see. And we're done, and we're still loading on Wi-Fi on the Focus. So you can see it's, it's quite nice and fast. Works good, and, you know, multitasks well. And overall, I just like this phone a lot. Great suggestion from you guys. Uh, I have seen some other people with videos about it. They all seem to love this phone, most people that have used it. I think overall it's it's a pretty nice phone. I'm not sure I'm going to keep the back uh, the uh, brown background. I may switch it up, but I've installed quite a few apps. Now, I've been using Windows Phone 7 for some time, but I haven't really used it as my primary device for a while. I'm going to try and at least use it for a week as my primary device, and maybe I'll just stick with it. We'll see. Uh, but I do like it enough that I could use it. It is lacking a couple things I use regularly on an iPhone, but I've been using an iPhone since the beginning, and it's just getting boring, to be quite honest. I really need a bigger screen size for an iPhone, personally. Uh, it doesn't mean it's a bad phone. I really like my iPhone, but I could go for a bigger screen. It doesn't have to be this big, but just bigger. So I've installed AppFlow to help me try and find some apps. And what I'd like, if you could, is give me some suggestions of apps you use. I use eBay, Fuse. I went over my, my most used apps on the Focus in a different video, but eBay, Fuse, I use, uh, MetroTube, I've used a little bit, Netflix, I've downloaded all these apps you can see. So if you have anything other than what's in this list here, or maybe you didn't see in the list, uh, please go ahead and comment below. I'd like to hear maybe some great apps. Now there's 50,000 apps in the App Store, so, you know, it's really hard to, to say which ones are good. Just like the iPhone and Android Marketplace it's hard to find really good apps sometimes, so I could be missing out. So here's one of the apps I'm looking for. Is I, I currently have an app that's for finances, and I would love to hear what you have to say for that because I, I could use a checkbook-type app. I use one called MoneyWell on the iPhone, and it syncs with an, a desktop application. I'd love to have something similar to that on Windows Phone. Also, how about a free navigation app? What would you guys recommend? I have Navigon. I've used uh, Waze. On the iPhone, uh, Motion X GPS Drive, I think is the name of the other one. Is there anything that's like that? I know there's Navigon, but that's a little expensive on here. I want something that's free or close to free that's really good. If you guys have any suggestions, I'd love to hear that. Really liking the phone, loving the huge tiles, love how easy it is to type. Voice recognition is good. Call quality is good. People were able to hear me well, although it did break up once, but I'm not sure if that's my phone or theirs. So overall, I think it's really good. I've got a Zoom Pass going, and I'm going to use it as my main phone for a while and see how it goes. I actually have a case for the back of it. Uh, it's an Incipio case. It seems to be pretty nice. I just slide it in, and uh, does a pretty good job. It looks really nice, and uh, although it's big, it's it looks normal in my hand, so it should, should serve me well there. But again, please comment on any suggestions you have. I'd love to hear that. And I'll be doing a review and some comparisons with the Galaxy Nexus and iPhone 4S in the future. But just wanted to kind of give you a general overview for those who haven't seen it. And for those who have and have suggestions, i uh, love to hear what you have to say. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.